really haunted places, does not support or endorse trespassing to visit haunted places. Before you decide to visit, please make sure to acquire the appropriate permits and or permissions, and be respectful of properties that are privately owned. Good evening. Welcome to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's top seven ghost stories will take you to haunted places in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ashington Square holds an unexpected secret. It's actually a giant burial ground. First established in 1682, it was used as a potter's field for city residents and a burial ground for Revolutionary War soldiers and victims of the Yellow Fever outbreak of 1793. There are a lot of souls here who could be disturbed. The spirit seen most often in Washington Square isn't buried there. She's a Quaker woman named Leah who spent time in life patrolling the square to protect the graves from thieves and people in search of cadavers for research. She's continued her mission in the afterlife and visitors have reported seeing the specter with a lantern late at night. A surgeon's house seems like a plausible place for finding some restless spirits. After all, Dr. Philip S. Y. N. G. Physic, known as the father of American surgery, may have dissected cadavers in the house in Society Hill. Whether the spirits seen around the house are the doctor's ex-wife, a former resident, or research subjects is hard to tell but there are some creepy ghosts behind these beautiful walls. Built in 1771, this fort is the only Revolutionary War battlefield completely intact. There are two reported ghosts said to haunt these grounds. The first is a woman by the name of Elizabeth Pratt, or the screaming woman. She was married to an officer stationed at the fort and hanged herself after her young daughter died from typhoid fever. People have reported hearing her screams from the officer's quarters building where she supposedly died. The ghost of William Howe is also seen here and locals call him the faceless man. He appears to visitors as a man with no face in the buildings where prisoners of war were kept. This enormous 32-room home in Chestnut Hill earned the title Most Haunted Home in America and number three on our list of haunted locations in Philadelphia due to its countless reported sightings of ghosts and other paranormal activity. Incidents include lights going on and off as they please, alarm systems activating by themselves, and visions of apparitions. One of the most terrifying hauntings here is in the Blue Room. There sits a chair in this room that has been reported to have been the cause of three recorded deaths within two weeks of individuals who sat in the blue chair. It is now believed that anyone who sits in the chair will die shortly after. Just a few minutes from downtown New Hope, the Van Sant Covered Bridge is one of the charming covered bridges in Bucks County. But it has a sinister story. Built in 1873, Van Sant Bridge has been called a Cry Baby Bridge. As the story goes, a young woman had a baby out of wedlock and was disowned by her family. She was so distraught that she threw the baby from the bridge into the creek below and hanged herself from the wooden beams of the bridge. Supposedly, the baby's cries can sometimes be heard at night.
Lots of Revolutionary War era ghosts have taken up residence in the Powell House. The Georgian home that belonged to Samuel Powell, Philadelphia's mayor both before and after the Revolution, is said to be inhabited by several members of the Continental Army, including General Lafayette. The ghosts of Benedict Arnold and his wife Peggy Shippen have also made appearances. The Cruiser Olympia now stationed at the Independence Seaport Museum is the last surviving warship from the Spanish-American War. At over 120 years old, the ship has lots of characters haunting its halls. There have been reports of the ghost of Gunner Johnson in the bowels of the ship and plenty of anecdotes about something strange in the boiler room and shadowy figures darting about the engine room. Visit the museum at Penn's Landing to see if you encounter any of the ghouls. Wow, that was interesting. Until then, good night.